Okay, hello and welcome to part 3 of the Rigging Tutorial Series by Zoink TV. I'm Andrew Weir and this is part 3, kind of, of the Rigging Tutorial Series. Uh, I say kind of because it's going to be like 2 minutes long, as you can see below. But uh, the only reason for this is I missed out something to do with the IK constraints earlier. So what I want to do is just show you that I've set up the same scene as we had at the end of the uh, part 2 video. And what I want to do is go into pose mode. I'm going to reapply the constraint, the IK constraint. Chain length of two, remember, going into that bone there. Set the target. I've already got a target of bone three, which is this one down here. And it's already not parented, so it should work fine. And the new thing I want to show you is the pole target. Uh, first, I'll just check that this works fine. Yep, that works. And the problem uh, that the pole target solves is if I'm moving this bone around I don't have much choice on where the actual elbow uh, moves so if I undo that I could grab this and rotate it kind of works okay I mean it's a little messed up but it's not perfect so what you're going to want to do is set a pole target and it works pretty much the same way what we're going to need is go into edit mode I'm going to extrude on the x-axis just a little bit Set another one of them. I need to make sure that it's not parented, just like before. So delete the parent. Reselect it so that you can then move it away. And if you don't reselect it, it'll act like it's still parented because you've actually still got this bit selected here, and it doesn't show it. So uh, let's move this away on the x-axis. Not too far, just a little distance, and, um, and that will be fine, as it doesn't work the exact same way as this one down here because they are exactly touching and this one, uh, as you'll see, doesn't quite work like that. So, let's go back into pose mode, click here, go back to our constraint and set the pole target to our new bone, mine's 004, and we can see that it's flipped it backwards, which uh, isn't very good. That's not exactly what we want, we can move this around and it's kind of flipped the wrong way. Uh, I think it will still work like this. Yeah, the pole target's moving it, that's pretty much what it does. It uh, flips that the other way around and it moves away. But that's not too useful if it's been flipped all the way around. So what I want to do is go back to it and set the pole angle. I'm setting it as 180 as uh, I want it to be on that side. And then, now when I move it, we can see that it follows and the elbow uh, moves quite well. So let's just test this out here. I want to move my arm out. Uh, maybe hands on hips. So hand goes down here to the hips. And now at uh, the elbow, I kind of want them to be outwards. Rotating here, you can do it, but it's, uh, it's not ideal. So let's get the pole target and let's move it on the Y axis. And there we go. The elbows are out now. And that helps with some more advanced animation. So that's all I have to say for now. Uh, I'll come back with a weight painting video in the next one, and I'll hope to see you there. 